All right, folks, so we're going to talk about Orgy, and I've got their debut album, Candy Ass, here. Now, with this album, I was listening to this throughout the summer, but it took me a while to review it simply because I could not find those extra songs that I preferred. And I think the whole reason is, is I love the presentation of the album. It wins originality points just because it's metal. But it also has like some rave music club techno type stuff that goes along with it. So it's really kind of like electronic metal. And that's, you know, in 1998, that was really good. The only other person was really Rob Zombie. You know, those type cats. People similar to him. But unfortunately, this album just did not really get lifted off the ground. Because most of the songs on this project just don't compare one, they did a cover of a song called Blue Monday, and that's pretty much their biggest song. Now, if you look past that, they actually they had a second single, and that was the song Stitches. And to me, Stitches completely blows Blue Monday out of the water. Both of these are raving music for you, but Stitches was the song they did on their own, and it is pretty maniacal. I mean, it has a beautiful hook, it's catchy, does a lot of things right, but unfortunately there's just not any other song like it. I mean, to me, I could not figure out why the other 10 songs on the album besides the singles did not have anything of note, at least in terms of having a chorus as good as that Stitches song, there just isn't anything. There are other good songs besides the radio songs, but it's just, it's kind of, it's just a real lightweight presentation. So, with this, I was kind of looking for a third single, trying to see what it is, but listening to the album, it really doesn't appear that there is. And I looked at, I go to different mediums to try to find the other popular songs, like, iTunes and Amazon and Spotify to see what exactly the songs that were hot were. It's just, it's virtually non-existent and it does stand for reason. I tried, I gave this album a good while to kind of win me over, but it just hasn't done it. So, the, the production is handled well. Like I was saying, this is a real electronic slash metal album. The blend of it is really well put together and it's a great feeling. You know, once you realize how fun some of this is, you, there's really no looking back. But the problem with it is, is the, the songs are just not memorable and they're, they're not iconic. So you can't get anyone else. It's just tougher to, you know, figure out, well, where are the jaw droppers? Where are the songs that they're going to be remembered for? Luckily, because this is a review, I took the liberty of doing it, trying to find some songs besides the singles that were worthwhile, but there's just not a ton. So the songs are, besides Blue Monday and Stitches, they are Dissension, Revival, and All the Same. Now Revival has Jonathan Davis from Korn on there, and he, he does not have a verse, but he kind of is in the background and you can kind of hear his presence on the song that one was pretty good i wish the the hook would have been a little bit more riveting but it's still probably third or fourth best song on the project now the other one of note is dissension and if you if you're like me and you look up this music on wikipedia it sometimes will tell you when you click the singles the next single that was going to be chosen so it's hard knowing, but it seems as if Dissension would have been the third single had they had enough attention, and it's pretty good. I mean, it it's it doesn't compare to Stitches, but if you listen to it enough, it might grow on you. And then the, a hook, a hook on a song that I did like was all the same. So that was one. Really, I mean, once again, the, the album is fun. It just is not noteworthy. That's the whole thing you have to remember. You listen to it and you think, oh yeah, this is good. I don't know what he's talking about. That's strange. But 
as far as finding those anchored songs where it's like, this is in my top 20 all-time songs, and this is in the top 50 of best metal songs, you're not going to really find those songs on this album. Like, Limp Biscuit can crank out those songs, and Korn can crank out those best rock songs, but it just isn't, you know, it's really kind of almost, you know, welterweight that we're dealing with right here. So this album, because I like 5 out of 12, is going to get a 4, a 4 out of 10. And I, I love the fact of the feel of this. Like, I love Stitches and Blue Monday, but it just did not win me over much besides that. So the social score is going to get a 2.5 out of 10. Because really the promotion, the size of the singles was good, but it's pretty forgettable because these guys aren't really around today. So, and once again, that just means how well Orgy is going to work with your friends if you were to listen to their music with them. So, alright, um... Can this album be topped? I think the answer is yes, it can. And the future orgy came back with an EP, but I don't know if they'll be able to top this project. That's the whole thing. This was their largest album in terms of mainstream appeal. But all right, subscribe for more fun. Four, four out of ten, two and a half social.